Hey everyone, so I am Jalisa Napo and I am bringing you my updated sew in refresh routine, aka a sew in maintenance. So, start off top, I am going straight to the leave out. That's going to need the most love right now because it's been through a lot of flat ironing, I'm pretty sure. If y'all don't listen to y'all stylist, I tell my girls no more than twice a week, but I'm sure they don't listen. But anyways, I'm going to go in with that Olaplex number three and number zero, and we're going to saturate it over the hair. This is going to help restore those bonds and just build it back up. Also has a protein treatment in there. That's what the bond rebuilders do to act as a protein treatment. So now while that's sitting, I am going to take my scalp care essentials um, you could use any type of clarifying scalp care. I'm using Mazzani right now and I'm going in also with the Design Essentials Detoxifying Tonic Scalp Cleanse. I'm going to mix that in a bottle, add a little water, and what I'm going to do is get it through those braids. Because by your hair being up, we know that when you have a sewing and she has four bundles in, it's so hard for her to get to her scalp. So that's what this maintenance is going to do we're going to get to that scalp because you, in order for your hair to grow you need that scalp care and also i added a excuse me an anti itch um oil to it and a relief just to help it um just to help that itching and that dryness or whatever she might have going on so after i do that um i'm doing this also while the the Olaplex is still on her hair. I am not rinsing that out just yet. We're going to go through the scalp first and do all of that and make sure it's, it's very saturated because you really want to, this is the time to get that moisture to your hair. When you're doing your sew-in maintenance, you just don't want to just add water and shampoo the weave. Like, we have to take care of the real hair. That's what's most important. So while I'm doing that, I'm also steaming. This is going to add even more moisture to the hair. And it's also going to lock in that moisture as well. And that's what we want to do. We want to lock in all the moisture we can during the duration of your sewing. I always recommend my clients do their sewing 6 to 10 weeks depending on um, their hair type. If you have finer hair, you're aiming towards 6 weeks coarser hair eight to ten weeks i really don't recommend pushing that far not that the sew-in won't last that long but it's just a long time going without properly nourishing and you know hydrating your scalp so that's why i recommend it that way now i'm going to go in with this sew-in scratcher i believe i've already added the moisture um shampoo so not only do i go in with the cleanse that's the first step is to cleanse that scalp then we're going to go in with the hydrating shampoo and i believe i used mazani's hydrating um shampoo but you could use whatever you like i saw these products at the store and just wanted to give them a try and i did like the end results um of me using those so i definitely will continue to use these and i will list them below so you could try them out for yourself so now we're just going to rinse her off and then I'm going to go through with um, the conditioning treatment as well. And when I do the conditioner, I am going to add some rosemary drops into it for extra moisture. Now, if you're at home um, and you want to, I have clients always ask, how can I oil my scalp? How can I oil my scalp? Well, you're going to get a bottle that has a, na a nozzle on it. You're going to put uh, just a little bit of water and you're going to do a few drops of the rosemary. Shake it up real good and you're going to get it in between your hair. Only the, your, only your scalp. You don't need to get it on the weave. Just only the scalp. Get it in there and let it sit and then let your braids dry. And that will be a good way to moisturize your scalp while your sew-in is in. And also, if you want to know how often you should be doing this, I would recommend you do it at least every two to three weeks, just depending on your hair. You know how well your hair keeps moisture in. You know how well it don't. So do with that as you will. So now I'm going to go ahead and rinse all the products out of her hair. And then we're going to go straight to getting her prepped to dry. Now, what I'm using here is Mazzani Miracle Leave-In. It's the same as It's a 10. It's a leave-in spray. We're going to put that all over her hair. Um, 
depending, you could use, I use both. I swap them out. Some, for the most part, I use the Mazzani on the more coarser textured hair, and I use It's a Tan on the finer hair. Now, I'm also going to take that Olaplex bonding oil, just a little drop, and I am going to put it on that leave out. So that way, it's just healthy and hydrating, and when I flat iron it, it doesn't look dry. And y'all going to see at the end how hydrated her leave out looks. It's going to look so amazing. Now, I didn't record this part, but I did use the Wow Spray. What it does is it acts as a frizz control and a heat protectant. So, it just helps manage that leave out even more. Definitely highly recommend you add this to your product list because it definitely helps and prevents you from having to flat iron your hair as often. Um... So yeah, make sure you get that. So now I am just going to separate the hair so I can get ready to prep her for the dryer. Um, the reason I like to separate the hair because for one, she has four bundles in her hair. And that way the dryer can get through all those, just all the bundles without, you know, how you dry something and in the middle it's still kind of wet or something. And we don't want that. I want to make sure that everything gets dry, including her braids. So I'm definitely going to set her under the dryer for maybe like an hour to an hour and 20. And yeah. And then once I get her from under there, we are going to just go through and blow dry the bundles. And then I am going to sew up any webs that might have become loose. I like to do that at the very end um, before styling. I don't like to do it before washing. I like to do it after everything is dry. So yeah. And also, I did her custom color, and she purchased her bundles from me. She is wearing four bundles of my loose wavy hair, my rock and Bodian hair. And I will link uh, my hair site on the description as well. And I will also add my booking link for the girls who have been wondering. I am outside of Dallas, Texas, located in Rockwall, and... Yeah, so if you are in the area, I would love to have you as a new client. If you're not in the area and want to travel, I do take traveling clients and I would love to see you. So yes, that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to go through and sew everything up and then we're just going to go through and style her. So y'all continue watching the video and yes, that is it for me. That's all I have to say. I think I done talked y'all ears off enough. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, and if you want to see any other type of tutorials, um, tips and tricks, I will be doing a online um, digital class for, you know, the sewing. So we might not get too many of those, but I could do some transformation videos, whatever. Just give me some ideas, y'all. I am new on YouTube. So if you like what you saw and want to see more content, please like, comment, subscribe to my page. And thank you to all the love you guys have been showing. So yes, enjoy this sew and refresh. And this is your sign to book yours or to do yours at home. Bye, my girls.
Daddy's is not turned on. Daddy's. It's like I just got a fresh stuff. I know, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, the body. You can mess with it. Ugh, skip it. Yes. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, I like this song too. Me too. Mm -hmm. He got like very old school vibes. Oh my god, my hair is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you said I like it? Down the street somewhere, but it's yes. right. Oh, uh, yeah, no streets for y'all today. Streets for me. <laughs> <laughs> no streets for y'all. Oh, this is so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. Susan Wayne. 